Hey guys, this is Salim and in this video, let's see how this Acer Aspire laptop performs when you video edit on it. So let's get started. So we'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro and this is a trial version so don't ask me where I got it. It's on the official site. It's a 30 day trial and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is Premiere. This is a start screen, new project. So let's choose a folder. Uh, my clips are in desktop, so let's keep it in desktop. Okay, cool. Yes. So it takes some time to open. So yeah, we'll give it some time to open. Okay, so this is Premiere Pro. We'll drag some files for a media. So let's go to desktop, video. I just shot some some with my Nexus. Yes, guys. It's a two year old phone, but the camera is still good. So we have imported some of the files here. So, okay. Let's just save it. Okay, now when we are scrubbing over the media in the preview in this thumbnail area it is quite smooth as you say as you can see see so dragging one of the clips to the preview area okay now so yeah see so it is quite smooth as you can see it is very smooth Now we'll take this whole clip because they are just random shots. We'll take some more clips. Yeah. Okay. So these are the clips they are they are approximately a minute long so scrubbing over them see there's some lag there see, there's some lag there so if you play it it plays without lag but when we scrub over it beginners what beginners do they apply default transitions so we'll apply default transitions So I guess, yeah, we'll cut this clip over here. Okay. So I've just cut the clip. We'll hit on R. We'll just resize it and the speed will vary accordingly. So, okay, now a clip is ready. Let's see. Cool. So let's just export it. We go to export media guys it takes some time so be patient so okay first let's select a file name so let's select okay we have selected video now save it as we are taking it at YouTube so we use, uh, it will be YouTube 1080p so it's a 98 MB clip so let's just export it now required already files Okay, so it took approximately three and a half minutes to render it. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so in all this laptop performs pretty well in video editing. So for video editing, most people 
and just me uh, perform uh, need desktops because desktops are a lot more powerful than laptops in my opinion and um, but if you are for laptops and want something that can edit as well as game this is a very great choice for the price it sells for around 32000 on amazon uh, i'll give the links in the description below to buy this laptop use that links it is my affiliate link it helps the channel out also i made a separate video regarding laptops that should be under 40000 they are the laptops that should are better for gaming but can video edit it as well so uh, one more thing to note is that for gaming you need a good graphic card but for video editing a good processor is mandatory so if you are gonna buy some laptop that has a good graphic card but say not a good processor like i3 processors so that's not good for video editing that may be good for gaming but not for video editing so for video editing i'd recommend something above i5 fourth generation on a laptop on a desktop it's different and uh, yeah that's it if you like this video do hit that like button this one vote it down if you didn't comment for any queries subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell icon near the subscribe button to get notified instantly with all the videos that upload in the future till then this is salim signing off